In this video, we'll review how to write the equations for polynomial functions given the graph of the polynomial. To begin, we're going to look for the roots of the function. In the first example here, I can see four x-intercepts, meaning there's going to be four roots. The x-intercepts negative 3, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, and 2, 0 tell me my roots are going to be x equals negative 3, x equals negative 1, x equals 1, and x equals 2. On these, I'm going to look for multiplicity. At each of the points, where they have an x-intercept, the curve passes right through, meaning there is no multiplicity. So none of the factors for these are going to have any exponents. They're all going to be single factors. I can use this information to write a possible equation. Now when I say possible and not the equation, that's because I don't know the stretch factor yet. All I know is that I have something times the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x minus 2. I found those factors by saying, well, if x equals negative 3, what is the factor that would be the um, equation that would help me to solve that? If x plus 3 equals 0, when I solve it, I get x equals negative 3. Or if x equals negative 1, the factor has to be x plus 1, because when you solve x plus 1 equals 0, that's what gives you negative 1. Now to solve for the stretch factor, I'm going to take a point that's not the x-intercept and substitute it into the equation. I see that the point up top, negative 2, 9, is marked. So I can substitute x as negative 2, and y is 9. If I do that, now I can simplify each of the factors. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And negative 2 minus, ne sorry, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Multiplying those out, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 3 is 3. And 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. To finish solving, we'll divide both sides by negative 12 and simplify negative 9 twelfths reduces to negative 3 fourths. I now know what the stretch factor is, which means I can rewrite my equation. This time, instead of a, I can substitute what I know it is, the negative 3 fourths. Looking at the equation, let's just make sure that what we got makes sense. I see that we've got the four factors, which means we have an x to the fourth power. x to the fourth power would be an even degree, but it has a negative coefficient, meaning both of these should have end behavior going down, which I see in the graph. I see that we've got the four x-intercepts matching the four factors, and there's no multiplicity, which means at each point, it passes through. This matches the graph, and it looks pretty good. We're going to go with that. For the next example, this time I only have three x-intercepts, so the roots for this time would be negative 2, 1, and 3. When I look for multiplicity, this time I see it. Where x is negative 2 and you have that x-intercept, it doesn't pass through. Instead, it goes down, hits that point, and bounces back up. This tells me that factor is squared. Now, the same thing happens where x is 3. For that x-intercept, it's a coming up towards 3, hits the point, and then goes back down. So this factor will also be squared. Now, where x is 1, it passes clean through, which means that factor has no multiplicity. So because we have multiplicity at these two, when I write my possible equation, I'm going to have those factors squared. Again, this is a possible equation because I don't know the stretch factor. So looking for a point that's not the x-intercept, that's clean and I know, 0, 4 is it. I'm going to substitute 0, 4 in, where x is 0 and y is 4. When I simplify the, the parentheses, 0 plus 2 is 2, but 2 squared is 4. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is going to be 9. So this becomes the 4 times the negative 1 times 9, which is negative 36. Dividing both sides by negative 36, I get that a is either negative 436 or reduces to negative 1 ninth. Now I can sub substitute this value into my equation and get the actual equation. The actual equation is f of x equals negative 1 ninth times the quantity x plus 2 squared times the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x minus 3 squared. Again, looking at the overall behavior, x squared, x, and x to the squared make x to the fifth. It's odd degree, meaning they have to go in different directions for end behavior. Because we have a negative coefficient, we can see that the left should go up and the right should go down, and that matches the graph. We could substitute in a couple points and make sure it works, and that would also be a good idea. For the next two examples, I'd like for you to try these. I'd like for you to pause the video, work them out, and resume it. Wait till you've done your answers, and then check them. If you need, get stuck and you need some help, then resume the video, and then try the rest on your own.
In the first example, I don't see any multiplicity. At each of the three x-intercepts, the curve passes clean through. So my three roots are going to be x equals negative 3, x equals negative 1, and x equals 2. The possible equation would be f of x equals whatever stretch times the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 2. Looking for a point to substitute, I see that we know 1, 8. Substituting the y is 8 and the x is 1, I can then simplify. 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 plus 1 is 2, and 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Multiplying that out, 4 times 2 times negative 1 is negative 8. Dividing both sides by that negative 8, I get a equals negative 1. I can now substitute this back into my original equation, and now I get the actual equation of this function. f of x equals negative quantity x plus 3 times quantity x plus 1 times quantity x minus 2. For this second example, I see some multiplicity. I see that we got that bounce at negative 1, telling me that factor is squared. Where it passes through at x is 0, it's clean, so there's no uh, multiplicity there, but something's up where x is 2. It's not passing cleanly through like it did at x is 0. Instead, it looks kind of like a cubic. So in this case, I have multiplicity, but it's to the third power. So my roots are the negative 1, 0, sorry, x equals negative 1, x equals 0, and x equals 2. Setting up an equation, I know that a times the quantity x plus 1 squared times the x times the quantity x minus 2 cubed, again it's cubed because it has a cubic feature around that x-intercept, is equal to f of x. Looking for a point I know, they told me 1, negative 6 is on the curve, so I can substitute y is 6, negative 6, and x is 1. Cleaning this up, 1 plus 1 is 2, but 2 squared is 4, times 1, times negative 1 cubed, which is still negative 1. 4 times 1 times negative 1 is negative 4. Dividing both sides by negative 4, I get a equals 3 halves. I can now substitute this in and get the actual equation of the function. It's 3 halves of x times the quantity x plus 1 squared times the quantity x minus 2 cubed. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope this helps you to understand how to write equations for polynomial functions.